Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and look at these beautiful, beautiful helicopters from Red Falcons Heli's Mod. Look at these. So what we're going to be doing in this video is I'm going to show you how to fix uh, the helicopter and then we're going to do some basic flying. Although with the flying, although I can, <laughs> I can show you how to get off the ground and show you how to fly around, I'm not that good at landing. Um, but I'd recommend you probably start off with a KA-26 Hoodlum because um, this is the one that I've had the most success landing with. The, other was, the others, especially the ones with skids, I'm really good at making them flip over when they land. But that might be because we're in early days and the models are a little bit, um, shall we say, uh, sensitive. Now, if on the server you're playing on, uh, the, the, the helicopters don't spawn in with all their stuff, You'll need to find some stuff to get them running. Now, at the moment, you're going to need to get a battery, uh, an igniter, aviation hydraulic fluid, a uh, wiring harness, and if you want the lights to come on, a headlamp, headlamp bulb. And, oh, look what I've got here. So we can do all that. Now, things that may well be added and may well be needed by the time you watch this video are hydraulic fluid and perhaps... Um, aviation uh, fuel, avgas fuel. The idea is that if you use avgas rather than ordinary uh, petrol, um, the helicopter will have better performance. But first off, let's... Um, and then uh, there's the uh, aviation toolbox as well. So let's pick this stuff up. What do we want? We want the aviation battery. We want that, we want that, we want that. Um, that's it, isn't it? Right, okay, let's go over. Let's put all these bits inside. So what's that? That's the hydraulic hose. That goes there. That's the wiring harness. That goes there. Battery goes there. Uh, did I pick up the spark plug? The, um, yeah, there's the spark plug. Maybe I didn't pick up, pick up the bulb. Maybe I did. Is it in my... huh. No matter. Right, let's get the fuel. And let's have a look to see, because one of the tricky things is finding the where the fuel goes. I'm not sure where it is on this one. I can't remember. Normally a round cap. It's not in the back. Must be so obvious we can't see it. I'll refuel. There we go. Where is it? Oh, it's there. How tricky is that to see? Okay. Now, with the helicopters, we're going to control them at the moment with our keyboard. Our keyboard. I'm um, using. Um, W, A, S, D, and Q, and E. And with our mouse center button wheel. Um, Red Falcon is planning on adding mouse support so you can control the direction that you fly with, with, with the mouse wheel as well. Uh, with the mouse, uh, 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 not just the mouse wheel, sorry, with the whole of the mouse. So that should be pretty cool when he does that. Now, they are pretty tricky to fly, these helicopters. But the trick I've found so far is just be gentle with the helicopter. Um, it's all about not building up too much momentum, as you'll see. Right, so she's all fueled up. She's ready to go. Let's um, get in. Getting in and out can be a bit weird as well. In we go. Let's close the door. Now let's have a look around. The, the, these dashboards in the um, cockpits are amazing. 
and lots of the stuff does work. The level of detail is absolutely superb. Okay, so let's get us started by uh, pressing and holding left button on the mouse. So if you look in the bottom left hand corner, you can kind of see the different controls we've got. We've got fuel, um, and then underneath, in the middle, then underneath that we've got hydraulic fluid, which, which we're not using at the moment. By the time you come to watch this video, it may well be on. Speed on the left hand side, and altitude on the right. If you're ever not sure about the controls, remember just hit escape, go into options, go into controls, go into configure key bindings, and there they all are, there's all the controls. Now. Next to the uh, altitude, you'll see there's the, the like the vertical line that says col for collective. So think about this. It's kind of sort of sort of a bit like a throttle. Um, it's not quite a throttle, but it, it gives us the amount of lift for the helicopter. So if I scroll my mouse, mouse wheel up, you'll see the collective starting to go up. And then once we get above the neutral position in the middle, we will start to rise. Let's just get a tipped over. See we're going up. And how fast we go up will depend on how high our collective is. So if we back our collective up all the way we'll, we'll start building up loads of momentum and going very very high indeed. But let's just slow it down because it's all about slow movements. So we've got a nice nice hover above the runway. Now let's look at the basic controls that we can use. Obviously we can use V to move around the cockpit and uh, have a look. Now if we press D, the helicopter will tip to the left, tip to the right, sorry, and we will gradually start moving that way. Again, momentum takes a while to, to move up, and the further you tip, the faster you will move. But again, just do smaller, small movements. If you press A, the helicopter will tip to the left and will slowly start moving to the left. And to counteract it, you've got to, you either straighten out and you tip back the other way a little bit and that will stop that momentum. To go backwards, we press S to tip backwards and the helicopter will slowly start going backwards. And to countermand it, we press W to tip forward. And the further we press forward, the further the helicopter dips and the faster we will be going. Let's come back to a hover though by pressing S. Now we've also got our, um, I guess our foot pedals, which are on E and Q. So if we press E, the helicopter will rotate clockwise and if we press Q the helicopter will rotate anti-clockwise. Now I'm just going to reduce my collective a little bit down to the neutral position and what I really want you to look at is look at the altitude because with this with the helicopter especially when it comes to the landing and landing successfully it's all about making sure that this the rate of descent that you're putting in doesn't get too high um, and when you're changing your rate of descent, so let's say I reduce my collective now, you'll see we'll start to drop. It very quickly accelerates so that the helicopter will start to come down faster and faster and faster. So always be ready to increase your collective above the neutral position to slow down your rate of descent so that you can touch down nice and smoothly. But, you know, we, we want to fly around, don't we? So let's, let's look at flying around. So if we want to fly around, what you've got to remember is as the helicopter tips forward, if the collective is at the same position um, and you start moving forward fast, you'll start to lose height. So the further you tip forward and the faster you're going, you have to increase your collective to set, stay at the same altitude. So let's uh, rotate a little bit. Let's look at heading off in this direction. So we can increase our collective, tip her forward, and we'll slowly, now remember you're slowly starting to move to, to increase momentum. Keep an eye on that altitude. If you start losing too much altitude, tip it back a little bit. Or increase, increase collective. That's it, and we're off. Two hundred kilometers an hour. Now if we want to make a nice slow turn to the right, we can press D just to start to bank her over. Nice slow turn. 
keep an eye on that altitude, making sure you don't... If you suddenly start to lose altitude, just try and increase your collective and just straighten the helicopter out. So let's bank back to the left. Get that nose down to maintain our forward velocity. Straighten up. Let's say we wanted to investigate this town down here. To, in order to, to lose height, we have to reduce our collective. Let's spin around a bit using E. But always be aware, you know, keep an eye on that altitude. And just make sure that your altitude isn't dropping too fast. And tip her over to the right. See how our momentum is really going up. So we need to get that collective up a little bit. Slow that rate of descent. And the momentum slowly changes. Then we can reduce the collective so we don't start going up too fast. So about these really slow changes. Hopefully, at some point, Red Falcon will add auto hover. So this should be easy to do. Right, I tell you what, there's gas down here, isn't there? I just realised. So we need to um, move out of here. Let's tip her over. Bit of pedal. There we are moving away. So what we're going to try and do now is we are going to try and land. Now I make no guarantees for these landings. Um, but it's very important that you try and pick somewhere that would be very flat. So airfields are great, roads are good. You don't want to clip any trees or anything like that. Fields are alright. But sometimes with fields, it's very difficult to um, see whether it's flat or not. So let's have a look. So we've got some nice fields here, haven't we? They look fairly flat. So let's reduce our collective. So we've just put it through the neutral position. So we're going to start dropping now. So it's all about just making sure that that rate of descent doesn't become too high. And then when we get down low, we'll be able to see how hilly this hill is, to see if it's flat or not. I don't know, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? I think we're safe to attempt a landing here, so I'm just going to reduce my collective again. Put it to the neutral. Our momentum is just going down. Down very, very nicely. Ooh, let's stop the helicopter while we can. Well, just remember any landing that you can walk away from. It's a good one, but I definitely recommend you start off with the Hoodlum, the KA26. It does seem to be the one at the moment that's least prone to flipping over when you uh, when you land it. Right, so there we go. Hopefully that video has been useful. Um, amazing thanks to Red Falcon for producing this mod and these helicopters. They're absolutely amazing. Um, so fun to use, so fun to fly. And I tell you what, last night I was um, playing on my um, server 
and one of the other guys was on there and i used admin tools to track him down so i flew to his location landed crashed <laughs> spawned in one of these guys and i said is there anything you'd like and he said yeah you couldn't take me to Burizno, could you so he jumped in the helicopter and it, like an like a airport taxi we went from like tizzy to Burizno um in a, in the helicopter and then i touched down he jumped out and they flew off and i tell you what it was one of the coolest things i have ever done in in daisy so so there we go anyway what do you think if you'd like the video hit like one see more of the same press subscribe um i will put a link in the description below this video to red falcons helis mobs so when you're on a server you know tell the admin that you want this mod on there because it's standalone it's easy to install and uh, it is absolutely fantastic anyway that's enough from me and i'll see you again soon